This may look like an ordinary working office, but not everything is as it seems. For example, I've been hiding in this cupboard. My name is Matt Edmondson and welcome to BBC Radio 1, a place that can turn musical nobodies into musical somebodies, bands that you've never heard of into bands that you might have heard of, and pop flops into pop hard-ons. As I said, this really is no ordinary office. For example, I've been hiding in this cupboard. I've already done that. This CD stack represents the amount of music a normal radio station plays. This stack is the amount of music that Radio 1 usually plays. And in September, this is how much music Radio 1 is hoping to play. As you can see, it's going to be quite the mess. Are you excited to be playing more music during more music months? Yeah, obviously Radio 1 is about appealing to younger audiences and when we've been doing focus groups we have been asking those young audiences exactly what we should be playing on Radio 1. OK, so if you'd rather listen to the Arctic Monkeys, knock over the monkey. And if you prefer the Foo Fighters, knock over the guitar. It's Radio 1, now it's the Foo Fighters. I've got another confession to make. Well, we're really passionate about music uh, here at BBC Radio 1 and stuff like getting a track to champion each week as my big thing is, uh, I think, very important to the music industry. Well, you take it very seriously. I do, actually, yeah. Fair to say. Tell me about how you select your big thing each week. Well, we obviously take a lot of time and care over it because the song ends up being played uh, every day that week on my show as big thing. So, yeah, I mean, I do take a lot of time and, and care and attention over it. It is amazing watching him work because you've got to think he literally has their careers in his hands. Oh, hey. That's it. Miley Cyrus, my big thing. Tell me about your big thing. Wow, well, it's, um, I guess it's getting on a bit. It's a bit wrinkly. It's got sort of weird hair on it. Uh, skinny, it's pierced, and it's pink. S sorry, I meant your, your record, record of the week. Yeah, it's pink. Oh, by Pink, the artist? Yeah, yeah. yeah the singer Pink, yeah. Sorry. And what about your penis? It's incredibly small. And it's not just the Radio 1 DJs that care about the playlist. Some of music's finest really are passionate about getting their records played. So the thing is, there's so few places you can really promote your album or single nowadays, so you have to take every opportunity you, you can. Which, in my case, is my new album, English Rain, which is out now. Sorry, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing. Anyway, like I was saying, um, whenever I have a new single out and I want Radio 1 to put it on their playlist, if it means I have to come in and, and play some stupid game that a DJ has thought of just so they'll play my song, then so be it. It's time to play What's That Smell, Gabrielle? Okay, let's play our new game, Gabby or Krabby. Okay, it is now time for our brand new feature. Is it Gabrielle Applin or Charlie Chaplin? The worst was Gabrielle Applin goes to Maplin. What happened? Literally just spent my day in an electrical shop. But it's not just pop stars who find promoting their records difficult. As a DJ, it gets very frustrating when you spend literally minutes coming up with very interesting questions and all they want to do is promote their new single. Example, tell me, have you ever seen a ghost? No, but my new single, All The Wrong Places, is out now. Right, um, have you ever sampled milk directly from the teat of a cow? I have. Really? And... Honestly, I can say it tastes as good as my new single. Oh, for funny enough, um, a lot of people think that us, us pop stars are like desperate to have um, our singles put on the playlist, you know, at any cost. But um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quite chilled about it, really. I think, you know, I don't think it's right to, to hassle DJs, you know to, to, you know, to make them play my stuff too much, you know. I'll tell you it's awful. Connor Maynard, he's left me 18 voicemails this week. Have a listen to this. Yo, Grimmy, it's Connor. Um, I just thought I'd remind you, my new single is out. Hope you play it soon. I'll be listening, you know, every minute. But bye, mate. In a bit. You, know, you can't force anyone to to play to play your stuff. I think it's just best to sit back and let it all happen naturally. Scott, it's Connor. I've got Mr. Snuggles. If you don't play my single, don't expect to see this teddy bear ever again. You got it. But yeah, that's how uh, that's how I see things anyway. Connor, whose bear is that? It's mine.
The only person who's worse is Oli Merz. He actually hides in places where he knows you'll be and then begs you to play his records. During Even More Music Month's Radio 1 is, unsurprisingly, all about the music, which means all the DJs are being encouraged to talk less in between the records and play even more music. That was former number one Avicii, Wake Me Up, and for many of you, the big sound of the summer. Next up, it's the beautiful Ellie Goulding. and you're listening to Gemma Kearney on BBC Radio 1. Here's Ellie Goulding. Avicii, Ellie Goulding. So, there you have it. Radio 1, the home of even more music, talented and sexy DJs. And, of course, perhaps... Matt, do you want to play my new song? Not now, Ollie. Busy. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>